So there are sometimes texts that if you read them in isolation of one another, they can actually seem contradictory. So the Prophet Sallallahu for example, what he tells one of the companions, not to leave his relatives begging, but instead to make sure that he ensures some of the wealth of his relatives is intact, and that that is in fact gratefulness, and that is in fact pleasing to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi also encouraged as sadaqa wa sila together, that charity and establishing the ties of kinship together are a beautiful thing, that the best charity is the charity to your own family. And that is not just financial, but in fact, in the way that you treat your family and how you set up your family for success. That is why the Prophet ﷺ prohibited us to chip away at our family's shares of inheritance at the time of death and limited our sadaqah, even though this is a religion of sadaqah, limited our charity beyond to one third that you cannot take away from your family's right upon you. You also find a very famous hadith for the Prophet ﷺ uh, mentions a man who an angel uh, brought rain to his garden and it was a miraculous occasion and so the man who witnessed an angel in the sky bringing the rain to this other man, this hadith in Sahih Muslim, uh, he asked the man what is it that you do with your wealth? He said one third I reinvest, one third I spend on my family, one third I give away in charity. And so there's a divine equation uh, to that, that we should take in our own lives as well. So you cannot chip away at your family's right and you have to set them up for success. Now I say there, there could be some contradiction sometimes, is that there's another element which is that if you teach your families to be righteous, then they too will have barakah. If you teach them to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they too will have barakah. If you teach them not just social responsibility, but spiritually responsible, so a spiritual responsibility, then that will in turn bring barakah into their lives. And so there's a, a saying from Umar ibn Abdul Aziz rahimahullah, and he had many children and he didn't have much wealth to give them. And he said, in yakunu salihin, fallahu yatawala salihin. If they are righteous, Allah will care for the righteous. And if they are other than that, then I don't want them to have that which will cause them to further the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So raising our families in righteousness is a means by which we bring them into the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who are in the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala become part of the barakah cycle. And so it's important to both allocate the righteousness as well as the wealth uh, for our children, for our family after we leave this world so that they are set up for both worldly and more importantly, spiritual success.